Pirates. Welcome on board the brand new Carnival Celebration. We are here for a special naming event ceremony spectacular going on here in Port Miami. So we're just on the ship for just a few hours, but we did have the opportunity to go around and check out some of the different staterooms and suites on board this amazing vessel. And we wanna share those with you right now. We're gonna see seven different categories throughout the ship. So come along and join us, see all of the different options that you could have if you wanna stay on board the Carnival Celebration and stay tuned to the end of the video. I'll give you some more information on how we can make that happen. But for now, let's go ahead and get it started. We'll begin our tour of the different staterooms and suites on board the Carnival Celebration. And we begin with room 4300. This is an interior stateroom. Go ahead and so I'm not going to point out all the little odds and ends. They're going to be very similar throughout most of these rooms until we get to the suites. You do see this one does have the Pullman bed that is pushed down there for the upper bunk area. So you have your beds split down below or you could put those together and then we'll turn here and we'll find this will be a very similar setup throughout the different categories of rooms with our ottoman and storage, towels stored right there, the mini fridge with the glass door on it, and then kind of like your wet bar, desk, vanity area with all those different plugs, USB and standard outlet, phone mounted on the wall, shelves up there. You do have your television mounted on the wall here and then kind of past it when we came in, but you will have your closets. I'm not going to keep showing closets because they're closets and they're going to be Pretty similar throughout, but just to give you an idea in this one of the kind of storage we're working with. And then you also have the full length mirror on this door. And there's also another closet space tucked up behind the entry door there. I'm not gonna mess with that because they have the door jammed open. Also when you come in is your bathroom space. So let's take a look at that. Have our toilet there, sink, vanity area, storage down below, storage up above, makeup mirror there, electric shaver, outlet and then you do have the glass doors for the showers which is a really nice touch and it's actually a quite a large shower area which is very very nice up next we have room 4286 now this is an ocean view stateroom so you're going to have some similarities like i mentioned between these different categories of stateroom and namely that'll be the entryway right when you come in you have the two closets like we saw in the interior and then you'll have your bathroom space again inside here as well and that's the basically the same exact setup of course the difference in this room is one the size and layout you're going to have the couch there everything is pretty much the same that we saw in the interior over here with the fridge and the storage is just a much larger desk vanity area and then you're going to have your bed over here at the end nice artwork up on the wall tv mounted directly across and then of course this is an ocean view room so you're going to have that window so that you can look out at sea or at port or wherever it is that you are so there you go nice ocean view room and then we make our way to the next room the change in the carpet lets us know oh here's the family harbor lounge we're gonna go see a family harbor stateroom right this way so here is that aforementioned stateroom. It's actually labeled a suite. Room 4330 is a family harbor suite, and it does include admission to that family harbor lounge we saw back there, where there's games and little hors d'oeuvres and things like that for you to eat. So this room's gonna be quite a bit different than the ones we've seen. Mainly, right here in the entryway, we come in, we'll have our full-length mirror, and we're gonna have closet space on either side. It's not the doors that pop open. These actually slide. You see you have the ladder stored in there for the, uh, the upper bunks, the trundle, or excuse me, the Pullman beds. You got your hanging space there. Now this is pretty much the same. It's just kind of a different layout than we saw in the other two rooms. And then kind of the same over on this side as well. So there you go, nice big closet space right when you come in tucked up on its own. Now when we go into the bathroom, it's actually going to be very similar to the ones we've already seen, except I think it's a slightly larger sink. Maybe not even more, maybe a little more than slightly. It's, it's pretty big there. But same kind of layout, same standard setup, and then our walk-in shower is going to be actually a lot larger. I, I do feel like that's a much deeper space there for that, so that's a nice option. Now we'll proceed in. First area here, we're going to have this couch tucked up underneath, and then you're going to have the Pullman bed up above that. And you see that is pulled down, that's where that ladder will come in handy, and it's really cool because there's this television tucked up here mounted on the wall you also have some usb ports down below and storage as well now when we look across from this area there's another door here that i pop open and look at this it's another bath space this has its own sink and vanity there's no toilet in here but there is a tub 
a tub shower combo because this is a family room good for the little ones to maybe have a tub so that's a nice option now we're going to see our desk vanity space again same kind of features with storage drawers and the refrigerator the ottoman all that kind of stuff plugs up top there and your illuminated mirror phone mounted up there additional storage further down a very long desk space here tv main tv mounted on the wall there and that of course is across from the main bed space which has the fun storage and fun artwork on either side there it's really cool well, not either side just that one side this side though you do have the privacy curtain now that pulls around this extra bedded space and kind of blocks off this bedroom area and then the last feature here we do have a couch which actually has some storage underneath it little bench seating area here and then your ocean view window this is an ocean view room or suite if you want to call it that they technically do and again you're going to get access to the family harbor lounge so lots of fun to be had in there, different decor, different setup, lots of space in here for the whole family. And since we just saw that uh, Family Harbor suite, I did want to show just a better look at the lounge. So you see all the eating space in there where they'll serve the food up at different points of the day. And uh, you do have some books and board games, things like that you can check out and use over there. And then you're going to have entertainment spots tucked over on the side. They might be playing a movie, could be some video games going on there. Lots of fun. Heading to our next set of staterooms, and we're going to see another change in theme here. No longer Family Harbor, but let's go to the Havana area, which has access to a special pool spot that only Havana guests can use. You can see wristbands required beyond this point. Let's go check out these rooms. And our first Havana room is actually a Havana Cabana 8230. Let's head in. We'll see that Cabana theme, or Havana theming, excuse me, continuing on throughout the rooms here, like we saw in the hallway. Now, Pretty much the same setup though that we've seen for the bathroom and closet right when you enter so not too much to point out there just maybe a little bit darker wood you're gonna have your bed space right when you come in past the entry area with the tv mounted directly across and of course that awesome cuban artwork up there photography and painted art over on the other side now you're gonna have your long couch here with your havana experience special towels that are put in the room to enjoy at the Havana pool area and then you're going to have your desk and vanity and fridge all that normal stuff just a little bit different color on the ottoman now this is a Havana cabana which is essentially a balcony let's try to take a look outside so I apologize this event is at night so it is quite dark out here but you do have your chase lounge there nice little table a relaxing chair and my favorite feature you have a hanging swing here all in your little private cabana area now one thing to note about these very important as you can see here you have a little nice gate but it's kind of open to the other cabanas on either side of you and that is a public area there where people can walk through so you're not right out on the edge of the ship looking down at the water you can see out that's the ocean or miami right past us right now but you do not have as much privacy as a normal balcony and you don't have those ocean views that you would typically get so that is the trade-off with the havana cabanas we have one other category of Havana stateroom to, here, to see here, which is actually Havana Suite. This one particular, room 8210. So nice big entryway right when we come in. Lots and lots of space here. Closets directly across. And as you can see, it just opens on right up to the rest of the stateroom. Of course, the Havana features, the color design, the artwork all going to be here. I like the table and chair. Very nice sectional style couch there with the L shape. Nice table and lamp here right when you come in as well and that is going to be directly across from the tv desk vanity fridge area that we've seen very similar to the other state rooms there now here's where it gets interesting you do have this kind of half wall little partition right there with the privacy curtain that can be pulled all the way across and that separates the two areas of the room now we're entering the bed space so we do have our main bed area here nice little uh wall there on behind that and we have an additional desk vanity area over across and some storage here as well now we see this box here this i believe is a television that will actually raise up so you can view it while you are laying in bed that's a super cool option to have we're going to wrap around here and this is where we'll actually find our bathroom again pretty similar oh but this one does have the dual sinks dual sinks with the extra large vanity there Otherwise, it is pretty similar to the other bathrooms we've seen. Very nice big 
walk-in shower area there. And one other thing to point out here is you do have a nice window, almost floor to ceiling there, very large. But then you also have a door because this is a balcony room. So once again, I apologize, it is quite dark, but you do have this nice chase lounger there. Huge veranda space here, but again, it is not the private area. You do have people walking through here. You can see out to the very bow of the ship kind of set up over there. So it's not the most private setup in the world, but it is quite large. It does wrap back around here with your sitting chair and your hanging swing chair, as well as the footrest ottoman over on that side. So, oh, getting a nice breeze there, a nice mist. Big space, but not the most private. So I see this little button here. These just control the lights, but see the button down below with the arrows. If I press and hold that, voila, it is indeed a television that pops up right there at the end of the bed. How cool is that? Room 14304, this is an ocean view balcony room. So once again, same kind of entryway here for our standard rooms, bathroom on one side, closets on the other. Then we have our bed space here, right in the middle. TV mounted across. You can see this is very, very similar to the ocean view room that we saw earlier with the couch across there and the desk vanity area. The only difference, of course, is that you're going to have that balcony out here. And here is a look at that balcony space. Pretty standard table and two chairs. Pretty decent size, nothing huge, but a good size and the glass paneling and then open air to look out. Now some of them, like this one in particular, are gonna be right up next to the area that sticks out further. So you might wanna think about that when choosing your stateroom. Could block your view just a bit. Our last room has a theme as well. See the sign here says Serenity, adult only retreat one deck up. Kind of setting the mood for what we're gonna find for our last room, let's head this way. And while technically the Serenity area doesn't really have anything to do with this particular room category, you will feel quite serene in this because it is a spa category room. And we finish with room 17229, which is a spa suite. Let's head inside. One thing I want to note, look at the entryway. Got some like uh, wood or laminate flooring right there and then it transitions to carpet. So a little bit different kind of setup there. Right when we come in, we will find the bathroom, but as you can see right away, it is different than we have seen in those other staterooms. Toilet and like a triangular shaped glass shower with the rainfall shower head. You're going to get those different bath amenities here in the spa room as well. And check it out, dual sink, extra large vanity like we saw in the, one of those last rooms, but not in the other standard staterooms. Of course, closet space abounds on the other side when you first come in, and that transitions into our standard wet bar, fridge, desk, vanity area with the plugs, all that stuff that we've seen, TV mounted across over there from the bed space. But before we get to that, we do have this nice little sitting area with a little nice plush chair and table, big couch behind with the Serenity towels, special blue and yellow kind of theme going on in here. A little bit of a partition to separate the two areas of the room. And you see they have the beds here split into the two twins, but you can push those together, of course, to make the larger bed. And this is going to have a balcony. So it's a decent sized balcony. It's not the largest in the world, but it is a little bit bigger than just the standard Ocean View balcony staterooms. You do have your two chairs with your table there on the side. And of course, you got those wide open views to your port or to the sea, wherever you may be. Now, a couple of things to note with these Cloud9 spa rooms and suites. Most of them are actually down by the spa on deck five, but these rooms that are up on deck 17 actually have a special forward elevator that's exclusive to this category room to take you down to the spa. Now, when you're in a Cloud9 spa room or suite, you're gonna get some perks for the first two adult guests in the room. And those perks include things like priority spa appointments, for reservations made by 6 p.m. on embarkation day. Cruise long pass to the thermal suites with the dry heat chambers, salt and infrared heat chambers, steam chambers with aroma steam, large hot tub spa, and two experienced showers. You're also going to get a complimentary scrub kit to use in the thermal suites, one per guest. Spa branded bathrobes and slippers for use during the cruise. The upgraded Elemis shampoo and gel soap in the shower wall dispenser, which we saw in there. 10% off your first, 20% off your second, and 30% off your third signature spa treatment when booked together, or 20, 30, 40 off when signature spa treatments are scheduled while the ship is in port, three treatments per guest. 
Well, there you have it, friends. That is our tour, kind of, of the different staterooms and suites that you can experience here on the Carnival Celebration, at least a smattering of them. It's not every category. We didn't get to see, like, the bigger suites or anything like that, but we did actually see some of those on Celebration sister ship Mardi Gras about a year ago. So if you want to check out our Mardi Gras playlist, you can see some of those different suite options and some of those other stateroom categories. But we hope you enjoyed seeing them here on the Carnival Celebration. Of course, if you're interested in coming on board the Carnival Celebration, we can help make that happen. As travel agents, our services are completely free to you and you will not pay a single cent more to book with us than you would direct on your own. So feel free to reach out via that travel agent information. You can find it in the description of this video. If you've recently booked your Carnival Cruise, we may still be able to transfer your booking to our agency so that we can help you the rest of the way. That is also completely free of charge. Thank you for joining us for today's video, but we're going to sign off for now. We'll see you next time. Happy travels!